Yo, hello there YouTube friends. As far as the three amigos, the three chihuahuas, after 12 years, they were diagnosed with heart failure, trouble, and cheekies at six months to live. So here we are at the hospital. Cheekies got sick. Like a golden retreat. So uh, check it out. My boy, where you at, my boy? Coming home tomorrow morning. So, Ron Cheeky, so better news. The other Cheeky, since you guys said it was a guy, that's why I was confused. Yeah. I was like, wait, Cheeky's a girl for sure, but Cheeky, okay, so the correct one, you guys is a little chihuahua, right? Yeah. Okay, so. Responding better to the medication. So the doctor says um, he's doing better. So okay. right now she's gonna go ahead and see some medications. So I'll let you know right now if he's good to go home or, or we'll see. Cool. Okay. She says maybe we might want to keep him a little bit more, but it does look like he is getting better. He's responding really well to the medication. Oh, okay. okay. So I'll still go ahead and bring him in and then we'll see if the doctor wants to go ahead and then no, get better. Uh, no. That's probably the second level of hydration too, home, probably. That's why. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm gonna go ahead and have If you guys have any questions, I can go ahead and Motherfucker gonna die, man. He's a soldier. Little soldier. Little motherfucker wanna bite Freddy all the time. <laughs> Come on, man. He starts everything too. Everything. He does. He starts. Yeah. He he gets Domino pumped up. Yeah. He starts bugging and Domino and Mia. Yeah. Trouble. He gets them all started. I notice that all the time. He's a fighter. He ain't gonna go out like a fucking. Like they say on that movie, Cutters, Chevella. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, so, Ronnie, Chiki, he's a good dog, man. That's my boy, man. Just like Pops, like me. He's a writer. <laughs> uh. You know, as a matter of fact, he's gonna go with us tomorrow, pick up my truck. <laughs> <laughs> that was too much, and he's gonna be going. So what? Uh, we we'll put him in the. Oh, oh, we got a middle seat, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, but yesterday we took him to Mom's car. And his... Yeah, because he's. That's Mom's car, though. No, my truck has not changed. I'm there, man. Nah, nah, nah. nah, I know he's old, but. Jeez, where you at, man? Spends all the time with dogs. Uh... Uh, that cheap? Cheeky! Hey boy! <laughs> hey papa! So Dr. Ted says he's good to go home. Whoa, yeah! Oh, Hell yeah! So we'll go ahead and get all the medication ready, then I'll go ahead and take What's up, papa? Hey, what's going on? Uh, what's up, mama? <laughs> you coming home? Yeah. Oh, I, I, I just don't have to take the rest. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, oh, give me a few more moments and I'll be right back. You coming home? All right. Good job, buddy. <laughs> How's he look to you? Look better? He's not breathing heavy? Huh? How does he look? Scared. Huh? Scared, yeah. It's okay. Okay, Papa, don't shake. It's okay. It's us. It's family. So we took Cheeky's home. It was good while it lasted. But a few weeks went by and he got sick again. This time, we knew it was real. They wanted to keep him overnight at the hospital with oxygen, but the doctor said that they didn't guarantee anything. So, my wife and I decided to put him to sleep. A month after Cheeky's was gone, trouble started getting sick. As you can see, he's breathing hard. He's suffering. We already had talked about not letting him suffer. We didn't want to see him go through what Cheeky's went through. So we also put him to sleep. 
Rest in peace, trouble and cheekies. All dogs go to heaven. We miss you. God bless your memory. The last amigo standing, Brownie. Here's a little bit more about this fella. Check it out. So even though we were having fun with this little fella named Brownie, my wife and I decided to uh, look for two puppies, a boy and a girl. Yup, here we go. So here we are at the vet, getting Dodger his vaccine. I believe it's the first or second round. Born September 23rd, 2020. The little fella was fun to watch grow. As you people may know, I'm a Dodger fan. Right around the time he was delivered, the Dodgers had won the championship. So I named him Dodger. Even though we know Dodger's not gonna replace Trouble Cheeky, we know that he's a true blessing. Friday the 13th, the month of October 2020, and Leia's finally born, thank God. So, after 8 weeks, we were able to pick you up, and finally able to bring you home, the joy of the house. They warned us that you were feisty, that you had an attitude, wow. You were bullying your fellow brothers. Out of four puppies, you were the only female, the queen of the house. But guess what? I had to see it and believe it. And wow, she is a tough mama. You two friends, our lives have changed for the better. Here are some videos so you guys can see the fun that we had. It's always a pleasure to watch Dodger and Layla and Brownie play. Check out these videos, these beautiful memories that we had. Give us a thumbs up and don't forget. The Bubba's Dodger. Layla. Brownie. Mama, breathe. Layla. <laughs> Happy to see Brownie eat. Getting big, Dodger. <laughs> Sorry, it's DJ. Look at them how peaceful they look.
let her get her vaccine, oh. which she took it like a chance. She sure is a tough mama, hell yeah. What a beautiful thing to watch them grow and develop their own personality. Having a pet is a big responsibility which shows you how to appreciate God's creation. Pets have been harnessed to humans for possibly tens of thousands of years. Thing is for certain, we know that dogs without a doubt were the first domestic animal. Hey, don't bite me, motherfucker. According to genetic studies, modern day domesticated dogs originated in China, the Middle East, and Eastern Europe. It was originally believed the first domesticated wolves appeared around 15,000 years ago in the Middle East. But it's unclear if dogs were the first pets. Americans own 78 million dogs, 85 million cats, 14 million birds. So drop a comment, let me know what you think. My wife and I are happy to have Dodger, Layla, and Brownie. Building beautiful memories is our mission. Till next time, take care everyone. God bless.